How old is she there? for Palmer. One way or another. Right, girls. Don't think any need bother staying. You. No, you. That's right. Stay behind. Next. Times like this, I'm glad I don't have daughters. It's not just girls. What you need is capital investment, that kind of involvement. Any hey. more than a few people spit on the back of an envelope. I could get them tight. Mm -hmm. Mr. McGee, okay. I'm a businessman. I'm not out of work. And that's likely to give me where it stays. An accountant then. Is that it? What who knows the business is where you start? Well, they weren't exactly thick on the ground in the shipyards. You know what I mean? All right. Here. Bum, bum, bum. Change? Handled all my business since I did summer season at Butlands. If it makes sense to him, Hi. we'll talk again. Hi. If not, step, 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 right, step, step. right. All right. What? Have you left your brains at home with your glasses? What do you think we're running here? A rest home? A knackers yard? You? You want an exercise class? Join the YWCA. Don't waste my time. I don't exercise. I won't work. Aye, along with a new pair of legs and a fresh set of lungs. I'm surprised you bother with all that stuff. Auditions and the like. Busy man like yourself. Yeah, frozen scampi, burgers, beer. I just picked up a telephone. But girls. Everyone that passes through my hands, firstly guaranteed. I've got a reputation to uphold. Don't mind him. Go well, at least we'll get back for French. Bye. Good luck. No chance they're going to let you down, these friends of yours. No, no, mates, it's mates. Anyway, what else are you going to do with the redundancy money, eh? Bum in the wallet. Get those sums checked. Right. Get the site checked. Planning permission. Professional survey. When will we get to talk again? Right. Mr. McGee. Mr. Palmer. Again. I thought he'd give you a bit of a hard time in there, Palmer, at the audition. I mean, I thought your dancing was pretty good. What were you doing with Palmer, buying or selling? Does it have to be either? Well, then I was buying, I suppose. Most men are. Hey, look. No, you look. It's what your sort do best. Thanks. Thanks a lot. And if it's dancers you're in the market for, you better get some advice. If you thought I was anything less than awful, you don't know dancing from shit. Listen, the fellow's in to see me today. Name of McGee. Oh, yeah. Want to make a proposition. That's right. Yeah. Don't know which hand he uses to scratch his armpits. 
So what is it? You're in? Almost. I don't worry. As far as Palmer's concerned, I'm just a guy with a load of redundancy money who's looking to open a club. He's going to set me up with everything from dancers to paper doilies. All I have to do is stay close long enough to get a good look round. Hey! Don't you make the mistake of underestimating him. He's cleverer than he looks. Once or twice we hauled him down the station, went in really hard. We found nothing. Can canny, eh? I mean the job, Spain. Barcelona. I'm expecting them over any day soon. Supposing they don't like me. They will. Run along. Yeah. Tony Juarez is going to be looking for fresh talent. I thought we weren't still doing business with Barcelona. Only found a way to change my mind. By up an our percentage. Melanie, it's no wonder you survived in this business as long as you have. Tells a friend she's off to one of Palmer's auditions. Never been seen since. Kids. Happens all the time. Yeah, but where Palmer's concerned, it's happened before. Julie Fraser. Five days off being 16. Three months contract on a cruise ship round the Med. And straight from there to a nightclub in Barcelona. Four o'clock one morning, she swallows a whole bottle full of pills. And just to make sure, slashes her wrists with a razor. Reading between the lines of the kids' letters home, the club was a glorified knocking shop. But Palmer says that anything the girl may have become involved with was at her own instigation. What do you want? Just tell us. It's no problem. Well, first up, we're going to need some premises. Empty. Scope for improvement kind of place a guy with a few bob might want to open up a nightclub. Casablanca. That's all there, Mr. Middleton. So I see. Redundancy details, bank loans, second mortgages, start-up scheme, AEC grant and a couple of pawn tickets. Ring my office next week, Mr. McGee. Next week? How are you, man? Very well, say three days. Good lad. I'll get it, I'll get it. Then what? Supper for us. Settlers down with a bendy straw. Remember that book? The Chandler. First one I lent you. Well, not word for word like you can. The old man in the wheelchair. In that hothouse. Yeah. Dying in front of Marlowe's eyes. Getting Marlowe to smoke so he could remember the smell. Getting him to drink his brandy so he could remember the taste. What is it? The nice state of affairs when a man... When a man has to indulge his vices by proxy. That's not you. Not yet. Don't turn into a self-pitying bastard on me, all right? Do you know Reg Palmer? No way he could work in this city and not. What do you know about him? First time I saw him. Worked men's club in Bridlington. Came on between the bingo. He had a suit on that would have made Helen Keller blink. Started to play night and day on the trombone. Stops after four bars. Tells the filthiest joke I'd heard outside the school box. But he used to book with something off. This band and that. 
Blue Tuesday. Split the atom? No, split the atom. Good band. There, as long as we turn up more or less sober, you couldn't give a toss. How would you like to work for him again? That's what you said. They've got the right idea. Come on. It's not as if this club of yours is ever going to open. I can't see the problem. The problem is that I've given Palmer the address of this place. Now, he's going to want to come and check it out, isn't he? And when he does, I'd like it to look a little bit more believable than that heap of shite. Get in. that number plate through the PNC, will you? Someone started to take a keen interest, and it might just be down to Palmer. Nothing else? Uh, yes, Bernie Middleton, an accountant. See if there's anything at Customs and Excise in Land Revenue. Is hanging about just to put a few quid in your pocket. There's got to be a better way, don't you think? Well, all these interviews, filling in forms, putting their noses in where it's not wanted. There's no need for it, you know, if you know the right people. See, I'm looking to get a couple of blokes fixed up myself. Yeah, somebody big, strong, that's what I'm looking for. I'm frightened of a bit of sweat. Push off, pal. I'll think about it, eh? You two lads there uh, aren't in the building trade, are you? Looking for a bit of graft? A couple yeah. of days, be money in the pocket, like, no questions asked. Mm. But here, yeah, look, if you're interested, give us a ring. Cheers, me too. Cheers. Thanks. These brickies, joiners, plasterers. Big lad, looking for a bit of demolition. You up for it? Aye. Right. Aye. Right. Give us a ring. Look, this is a mobile phone, right? Yes. Private Enterprise, is it? Encouraging tax evasion. Avoidance of VAT. Maybe you better step inside and... Some we'll... of that time. I've got to run. Don't forget, do us all a favour. Keep in touch. It is your mum's birthday, you know. Oh, Dad. Now, Dad, what? You do want us to get the right thing for her, don't you? 
But I don't see what's wrong with a Boots gift voucher. That's what I got her all the other years. You look what happened. Don't you think the great dad? Uh, I shouldn't have thought there were your mum's cup of tea, sweetheart. Why not? Well, where's your mum ever going to go wearing stuff like that? Huh? She's not an old stick in the mud like you, you know. Thank you. What about me? These are even worse. What do you think? You think they'll be suit you? Oh, hi. I didn't expect to see you again so soon. Especially not here. No, uh, no. Here, put those back, sweet on. Try and find something a little less like a shand, will ya? Yours? Yeah, yeah. I'm just out shopping for a present for the mom. It's her birthday. You didn't strike me as being married. I'm not. Not anymore. Listen, the other day I was in a filthy mood and, well, I just felt so humiliated in front of all those kids. It's all right. Forget it. No, well, it had nothing to do with you and I shouldn't have dragged you into it. Forget it. I have. Okay. You're not from around here, are you? No, not originally. I worked up here a few years ago, though. Where do you live? Just a little B&B. &B. Are you doing anything this evening? No. Do you want to go out for a drink? That'd be nice. Yeah. Do you know where the Newcastle Inn is? I can find it. All right. Nine o'clock. Fine. See you there. Yeah. Good luck with the shopping. Dad's going to go to family. Sorry. Don't be silly. Your dad hasn't even got an old girlfriend. You're going out with it tonight. For a drink? I've only ever met the lady twice. Your dad always was a fast worker. Yeah. Now, are you sure you've got time for a cup of tea? I mean, are you not wanting to get yourself all uh, spruced up? <laughs> Let's not make a big romance out of this, hmm? Well, big or little, they've all got to begin somewhere, haven't they? Relationship. <laughs> you don't think you might have made a mistake coming back? There's a lot that's changed. Not that hasn't. Besides where the heart is, isn't that what they say? Isn't that a bit romantic? What do you call sinking all your money into a nightclub? Good investment. Really think you can make a go of it? Yeah. Why not? Palmer seems to think so. You trust his judgment then? So far. Although I have to say the we went down your throat at that audition the other day. I did kind of wonder. Almost seemed like there was something personal going on there. Me and Palmer. Till that day was just a name. And a lot of rumours. What kind of rumours? Well, you know, contracts that don't need dancers a leg to stand on. Chasing young girls around the dressing room. All the usual. Young's the word, mine, isn't it? Couldn't have been much more than 18, some of them kids. Young? Yeah. Why did they do it? If you want to work, it doesn't pay to be fussy. And round here, Palmer's got it pretty well sewed up. And not just in the northeast. Most of the overseas contacts, too. Overseas? You can't tell me those kids go cavorting abroad at that age. It's part of a year on a cruise, on some seedy foreign club. It's just about the only way a kid starting out can get her equity card. I'm afraid Bally's shoes have still got a lot to answer for. I was thinking, mm -hmm. if you're going to have girls in this club of yours... Yes? Well, someone's going to have to arrange routines and keep them in line. But perhaps you've already got someone in mind for that. Well, no, it's funny you should mention that because, as it happens... You have. I haven't. In that case, you and I could be in business. What do you think? Um... Listen, I've got a meeting with the accountant in the morning. Can I let you know after that? If the ballet ran there, make me an offer. I'll put them on hold. Okay, I'll speak to you tomorrow then. Right.
so, what's the verdict? Am I making sound commercial sense? Or do you call in the DTI? Mr. McGee, I think your enthusiasm might be a little misplaced. Well, the figures don't add up. One thing you learn as an accountant, any set of figures can be made to add up to anything you want. What we're considering here is my financial advice. Yes, which is? Invest your redundancy money in government bonds, gilt-edged shares. Keeping it in suitcases under the bed would be more secure than what you're planning. Look, man, if security was what I wanted, I'd take out a mortgage on a retirement bungalow and wait it out. Then that's what you should do. So it's a no. You're going to advise Palmer to turn me down? Any financial arrangement drawn up between yourself and my client would ensure that he has the greatest safeguards possible. For him, it remains a reasonable business risk. Oh, so it's a yes. Good lad. It's not my decision. No, no, but he'll listen to you, won't he? Hmm? All the good you've done for his profits over the years. Maybe you can do the same for me once I start to earn a few bob. I'd be pleased to, Mr. McGee. Should you ever earn enough to be able to afford our fee? He knows his job all right. Palmer's accounts are cleaner than my Doris's kitchen floor. Three times in the past five years, the Inland Rev's been over them with everything but a Geiger counter. Not as much as a decimal point out of place. This one, though. <coughs> Tapped out his teacher's front teeth with a milk bottle when he was in the infants. Hasn't looked back since. So, we're in business. Now that your Mr. Middleton's given us a clean bill of health. There's other considerations of money. Would you supply animals to Noah? if you hadn't seen the Ark. Oh, you never struck me as a religious man. Shipyard work at a nightclub owner. Something of a miracle, isn't it? You best come down and see the place then. Set your mind at rest. Today. Tomorrow, let's make it, eh? One or two last minute tweaks. Hope you don't think I'm being too cautious, Walter, but uh, when you're in my position, you know, there's always people trying to put one over you. Gain that advantage, you know what I mean. Well, I can't afford to take that risk, any risk. Uh, can't be too careful. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm all right, man. Good, good. Cut it on for Palmer tomorrow. I'll try and turn myself away. Tomorrow? Hi, Francis. Hello. Yeah, listen about this birthday lunch. Yeah, I forgot to check it. Sorry, I'm gonna have to call you back. So that even someone like you can understand it. Not only are you going to stay away from me, you're also going to stay away from this city. And whoever it is you've been working for, you've just been declared redundant. Now I suggest you get yourself a monkey suit, and a job outside some bar, and every night when the drunks come staggering out, and they spew that chicken madras up all over your best white shirt. 
and you go home and sponge yourself down be thankful that you don't have to deal with me I don't like it well nor do I but I didn't have a great deal of choice you know the guy starts following Walter McGee finds out that Walter isn't Walter it's all down the toilet and if he goes back to Palmer well there's nothing to say that I'm not who I'm supposed to be I mean you know Sunderland shipyard workers pretty tough cookies I hope you're right we're so close to Palmer now I can smell the sweat on him he's an evil predatory bastard and I want him out of business well I could see some dances on my own couldn't I just make sure they're experienced, all right? Don't want you to waste your time auditioning amateurs. What did you think of Yeah, hi. 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 Fancy seeing you here. Fancy? Well, I am entitled to a bit of fun, you know. Especially on my birthday. It was McConnell. Bolted a couple of bits of that together and it stayed bolted for a lifetime. Say it again. Don't you dare. Why not? Because it ruins me concentration. Look at stick. If you watched a bit more of Blue Peter instead of Top of the Pops, you'd be less trouble. I thought you two were going to be a help, not a hindrance. This is boring. Last time you were babysitting, you taught us how to open the front door with a paper clip and a credit card. Yeah, well, that was just in case you ever locked yourself out. Can't you teach us something else, like windows? Some other time. I've got all this reading to get through yet. You read? You've never read anything before? You told us some magic or blind? Yeah, well, it's about time I went in for some self-improvement, isn't it? Learned a few new skills. Do anything I want if I turn my mind to it. You can give me a hand out with some of these four-story words. The technical and the tectonic resolution of a long-standing neoclassical proposition. A little B and B, eh? Palmer got one thing right, didn't it? It's cheap and it's clean, and it saves me the problem of asking you in. Would that have been a problem? Yeah, I think so. Anyway, after the encounter outside the restaurant, I don't think your heart's in it. Francis? Oh, that's it's all finished. Anything we had's long buried. Yeah, of course it is. There's always the odd ghost, though, wanting to be laid. Happy birthday. Again. Thanks. They're lovely. I haven't forgot, you know. No. You know, last night outside the... Of course not. That girl you were with looked very nice. She was, uh... She was a bit young, wasn't she? A bit young? Proving yourself, is that it? Yeah. Yeah. No, don't tell me. You were on duty. Doesn't really matter now, does it? Look, I've got to be somewhere. Didn't you always used to say, never mix business and pleasure? I haven't forgotten that. Take a look at her. Your place, the leader up. Sure. She's lovely. But you know, photographs deceive. Like you, I will never take a girl unless I've seen her with my own eyes. The auditions are set for the day after tomorrow. Not soon enough. It squeezes a little tight. Here. Tony Juarez's show needs stunning girl dancers for Spain. Topless. You know we're going to look after you in the meantime. Help me with the time pass a little faster. Mr. McGee, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. I just wanted to make sure everything was still okay for later. You know, your first visit? 
Walla McGee, Tony Juarez. Tony owns the night spot in Barcelona. Nice to meet you, Tony. Mr. McGee's going into the night club business himself. With your help, of course. You couldn't do better. I'm sure of it. All pretty young, aren't they? Not much more than kids. That's what my clients pay for, Mr. McGee. Young limbs, young flesh. I'm certain yours will be the same. I remember you picking her out. Ah, Louise Patterson. Lovely little Louise. Ambitious kid. Impatient. Wants it all now. Never mind, she can't dance to save her life. It wouldn't come to that, though, would it? What? That she'd have to save her life. One way or the other. Four o'clock today, you know. Man per like this, no problem. Getting better. This bastard thing doesn't get better. And nor do I. Come on, man. There's no sense speaking like that. No, that's the only sense there is. Anything else is just a stupid pretense. A lie. Get better? I'll definitely get better. Play again? Oh, I'm definitely gonna play again, aren't I? This studio, that tour. Keith. Only today you're gonna have to make my excuses. Tell Palmer, your musical director. He's having a little difficulty with his motor control, his optic nerve, his, his hands and his sodden bladder. You tell him, Spender. <laughs> It's a good size, if nothing else. I reckon we can squeeze in 300 pundas? Four. I reckon on a good weekend, four grand? Five. Even better. So you're agreed? It's a good enough investment. It's a hole with walls, that's what it is. I want to know what the place is going to look like. I can say what you're asking there, Mr. Pommet. The answer is somewhere between an, an environmentally aware version of your old Palais de Dance and a sort of modish place. You'd go with a postmodern piss up. The, the idea is to point up the functional nature of the building. Save money, look stylish by using the natural features. We we'll pulled a stage some 18 foot out from that Lord Baron wall. Use this overhead beam to drop down a revolving cage. Central dance area, computerized adjustable drop down uh, lighting rig, a wrap around bar with a, a raised seating area. But over here, this is the, uh, the pace to resistance. A Venetian spiral 
staircase, leading to an intimate dining area. Each table individually lit with Italian marble tissot lamps. Stunning. I'll show you the car park, should I? Follow me. I did you a favour, trust you at that audition. We'll have to see if I can't think of something for you in return. Make sure I don't fall down. I'll do my best. Make a lovely couple, don't they? Should they make you sick to your stomach? She's a grown woman. She knows what she's getting herself into. That makes a change. They're usually so bloody starstruck they don't see a thing till it's too late. Why don't you get out? You think he'd let us? Knowing what I know. Believe me, Jerry, if there was any way of helping you out, I would. Jerry, you're not listening. 3% won't even come a mate cost. Jerry's being cut off. Louise Patterson. Louisa? Yes. Hey, you're not a father. I should be. You handle her, do you? Aye. She's one of your clients, is she? Aye. You know how old she is, don't you? Sixteen. Sorry? She's sixteen. Sorry? Fifteen. Only I didn't know. She never said. No. Not supposed to do, do they? No, that's right. And the way they look. But Palmer knew. Palmer? Hmm. He'd know. Because he'd have asked. Fifteen. He'd want to know. He knew. Didn't he? Hmm. This deal he's got going with Tony Juarez. Louise is going to be part of that, is she? She's seen him tomorrow. Juarez, auditioning. What about your other clients? They got foreign contracts with Palmer? Yes. Yes. Names. Well, yeah, I mean, I knew what kind of dancing it was going to be. I mean, you don't wear a G-string, and know the body makeup would do the dying swan. <laughs> These places are don't run on the market. Grand. The owner. Have you had a special customer in? He'd ask us to go out after the show. Another club, maybe. Parties. Seems to go to a lot of parties. <laughs> kind of blokes that went to places like that. Money meant nothing. After they'd bought out £100 for a bottle of champagne. <laughs> £200 for a bottle of whiskey. Well, they'd go really over the odds for anything else. Mm. Of course, I'm not saying what some of the other dancers did. I don't know, do I? But what I do know is that there's always a lot of money being offered. Mm. Especially if you look dead young. Well, I never knew a dancer that went with a man for money. None of the girls I ever worked with did. Are you kidding? I talked to some kids who danced in the same club as Julie. Tony Warris Club. Apparently, she got involved with some guy, customer of the club. Thought she was in love. And he used her, dumped her. She went to pieces, drink, pills. A couple of days before she topped herself, she fell flat on her face up the stage. We can't hold Palmer for that. Yeah, I know, I know. Listen, there's a young kid, Louise Patterson. She did the Palmer audition. Have someone talk to her. I'm sure Palmer knows she's underage.
so it wasn't Swan Lake that got you started. Oh. Ginger Rogers, the dresses used to wear when she danced with Fred, legs up to here. <laughs> I used to sit there on a Saturday afternoon with me nose pressed against the screen like a kid at a toy shop window. I used to think, I could dance like that. I mean, I could be that good. Look where I ended up. It's not that bad, is it? Isn't it? I was thinking about what you said last night, you know, about Palmer not letting you go because of you knowing too much. What about it? Well, I wouldn't like to think I was getting mixed up in anything that wasn't exactly kosher. <laughs> the nightclub business, Walter, is not like the girl guides, clean and thought, word and deed. Yes, but it doesn't have to be the white slave trade either, does it? Is that what you're thinking? Should I be? What, kidnapping young virgins? Assume you could find one and ship them off to Blythe. I don't think there's a profit in that. No. What about Spain? Barcelona? Tony Juarez, you mean? He's an interesting person. I could tell you a few stories about him if you had a week. I've got the rest of the afternoon. What's this? It's not an afternoon stroll. Don't worry. I'm not about to smash up any more guitars. While I went out with Henrik's and the Who. So? I've been stuck in that shop too long, man. Staring at the walls and the ceiling. Yeah. Listen, Spender. Save it, man. There's no need. We're mates. Exactly. For all the people I could be throwing guitars at. I'm sorry. Yes. Has one of these beers got my name on? Palmer's arranged a little party for Tony Juarez at his hotel later this evening. Now apparently, the last time they did this, a few years back, Tony's party piece was sniffing coke off a pair of naked buttocks. So I thought maybe you could arrange the gate crash at the appropriate moment. It sounds the kind of operation we won't have much trouble getting volunteers for. Well, just so long as we come out of this with some bastard being banged up or something. Yeah. Well, see what we can do. Do you find a way? Those names you gave me to run a check on. Yeah. Well, the only one you didn't put up, so maybe it's the most interesting. Rose. Rose Walker. That girl you see. Her name before she married was Fraser. She's Julie Fraser's big sister. I thought if I could get a job working for Palmer, I'd have some chance of finding out what had happened to our Julie. I drove her to do it. As far as anybody else was concerned, she'd taken her own life and that was all there was to it. They weren't concerned with reasons. Or blame. And you think Palmer was responsible? Don't you? Why didn't you say who you were? Walker's my real name. I didn't lie. Do you think the police will ever have enough on Palmer to hold him? Maybe enough to revoke his license, maybe. And that's all? Probably. Less than that bastard deserves.
them another ten minutes. She's going to a little party. Still. I gotta say, Rose, ever since that little dance we had, I've been thinking there's something about you. From where I'm standing, they're gonna be good friends. Somehow, I don't think so. Let's do it. Is it? 